Hello folks, this is an old classic question here. It is from 2007, uh, October, November, paper 4, and uh, the question number is 5. It is concerned with the chapter of uh, uh, capacitors of A2. So uh, it says, uh, in number A, state one function of capacitors in simple circuits. So by definition, capacitor means storing energy. So definitely it's a, a device to store energy. Or you can say it can separate charges. Uh, it's function separating charges. Uh, we can also say that uh, a capacitor uh, does uh, uh, smoothing of rectified currents uh, when we convert AC into DC, AC into alternative current into uh, direct current. So, so many functions there. So many, so many, so many functions. Uh, anyone can be used. So, in number B, we have a capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 15 volts. So, 15 volts. And then connected in series with uh, a switch, with a switch, a resistor, switch, a resistor of resistance 12 kilo ohm and a sensitive emitter here as shown in figure 5.1 the switch is closed switch is closed which means that the capacitor can now discharge through this resistor and the variation with time t of the current i so when it discharges it gives a current the variation with time t of the current i in the circuit is shown in figure 5.2 so the current uh, varies from the maximum value of about uh, uh, 1.5 milliampere to, to, to the minimum of zero in a certain time so this uh, uh, this really does not show the variation till zero, but it might reach zero ultimately. So as you can see here, the variation is uh, uh, very much rapid in the beginning, and it becomes uh, slower and slower later. Now, 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 now. Uh, so let's go for the question. State the relationship be relation between the current in the circuit and the charge that passes through a point in the circuit. So we can say simply, I equal to Q by T, or we can say or Q is equal to IT. So both relation can be used. Now, in the next number, it says that the area below the graph line of figure 5.2 represents charge. So the area below the graph line represents charge. It says, so we have to find, we have to find this figure, figure 5.2, 5.2. So this figure to find the value of the initial charge here. So it says that the area below this line is uh, represents charge, so we have to find the value of charge. So for that, we have to find this area. So first, uh, for that, that purpose, we have to count the squares first. Let's count the squares. So as you can see here, this is the smallest square here. And in this uh, large square, in this large square, we will have 100 of them. 100. So this is 100. This is another 100. 100. So it is 200. 200. And this thing will have a 25, so it is a 225, 250, 250, 250, 250, then a 275, 275, then 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 it is a 300, so 300. Let's hunt for more uh, the sub 25, so it is a 300. So this will be 325, 325, and then we have got 350, so 350 till here. So let's mark those which we have done. So 350, we have done this much, which will be uh, 350 squares, 350 small, 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 small squares. So 350 small, 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 small squares. So let's mark them like this. So let's mark like this. Let's mark like this. Let's mark like this. So it is 350 small, small, small squares. So let's write here 350. Now, uh, for others, uh, we have to count them properly. So, let's count here. So, this is uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 37, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 44, 45, 46, 46. So, it's around uh, plus, let's say, 47. So what we have, I have done here is, I have counted, counted those things more than half as 1 and those things less than half as 0. So more than half as 1 and less than half as 0. Now let's go here. So it is 5, uh, 10, 15, uh, for 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, uh, 28, 5, 33, 34, 35, 35, 5, 40, 41, 41, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 50, 51, 52, 53, 52, 55, 56, 57, 57. So let us uh, finish this. It is 57 here. 57 till, 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 till this point. So it is 57. 
plus five seven. Now let's finish this. So it is uh, five four nine nine three four thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So it is 26. This also finished. This also finished. So then it is 5, 5, 10, 14, 14, 18, 4, 18, uh, 18, 4, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47, 40. Let us say 48. So this also finished. This also finished. So we have all together, all together this much number of squares. So let's add them. Let's add them. See how many, many squares are there. So it is 350 uh, plus 47 plus 57 plus 26 plus 48. So it's 528 squares. Five, sorry, it's 528 squares. Now let's calculate. How much is this one, one square? So how much charge does this one square represent? So in the x-axis, we have got uh, this uh, uh, 40 divisions. So 40 divisions as uh, 5 seconds. So that means one division should be equal to 5 by 40 seconds equal to. So 5 by 40 should be equal to 5 divided 40. It should be equal to 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 second. And in the y-axis, we have got, we have got, uh, so this uh, uh, 20, 20 divisions is 0 0.5. So 1 should be equal to, so uh, sorry, 40, uh, 40 actually. Um, oh, I made a mistake here. I suppose I made a mistake. So it's uh, uh, 5, 10, um, 5, 10, 15. So this is 20 actually. 20 divisions is equal to 5 seconds. So uh, 1 is equal to 5 by 20. And this should be equal to, equal to 5 divided uh, uh, 20 is equal to, is equal to 0 0.25 so i made a mistake here 0 0.25 second and here also i have got to uh, uh, 20 divisions is equal to 0 0.5 so one division is equal to 0 0.5 by 20 equal to 0 0.025 5 milliampere so now one square should be equal to one square should be equal to it is a uh, uh, 0 0.25 0 to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it's milliampere here that's why into 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 i'll have 0 0.25 0 0.25 so second here so it says uh, although this should be it should be coulomb so you'll have so into 0 0.025 exponent minus 3 equal to so this is this is this is this is 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb minus 6 coulomb now the total charge should be equal to q should be equal to this is, is for one square we have this much square so it is 528 into 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 so into 528 equal to so it is exactly here 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb now we have to express this in terms of a micro coulomb so that's why i need to be like this so 3.3 .3 into this is 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb so micro coulomb so in order to convert this into this i must have i must make this by 10 to the power 3 see here 10 to the power 3 in 10 to the power minus 6 is 10 to the power minus 3 so it's equal to 3300 micro coulomb so the answer is 3300 micro coulomb actually i'm pronouncing it as coulomb because that's the real pronunciation here it's not coulomb as people say it's coolio and i learned this from uh, professor walter levine from um, formerly from mit uh, now the next question is initially the potential difference v is equal to 15 volt and we need to find the capacitor so we have charge is equal to 3300 uh, micro coulomb equal to as we have done here 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb so the capacitance of C should be equal to Q by V equal to Q is a 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided V equal to 15. So when you do this calculation, so divided 15 is equal to 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. So it is 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 farad. And again, we have to change this into microfarad. So let's do it like this 2.2 into 
so micro means uh, 10 to the power minus 6 farad so from here to here i must do it 10 to the power 2 so it is 220 micro farad so answer is 220 so this is a good way of conversion here uh, i like to play with these sort of conversions a lot it really uh, entertains me a lot actually now the capacitor discharges uh, one half its initial energy so calculate the new potential difference across the capacitor so if it discharges one half of the energy the remaining is also one half so we have energy new is equal to one half of the old energy which means 1 by 2 into c into v new square equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 c v original v square so this is c stuff and this c stuff goes so we'll have therefore v new is equal to uh, v by root 2 equal to v is 15 15 by root 2 equal to so let's calculate the things here so 15 divided 2 uh, power 0.5 equal to it is 10.60 so 10.661 volt so if I write in uh, just uh, 3 SF or 2 SF, if 2 SF it is 10 volt and if 3 it is 10.6 volt. So the answer is 10.6 volts. So this finishes the whole question.